Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. In the last video, we got some new survivors, and we got a second recycler built up. We also have our world map going. We have combat in going right now with the, uh, what crew is this called? The Rippers. And we're going to make our way through them real quick. About 14 hours left to take these folks on out. Um, looks like both Boone and Bonnie are doing pretty dang well against the Rippers. It says we're dominating. It should take about 14 hours. We also have Jin all the way over here recovering the science from the museum. She's able to pull at 75 science points every 12 hours. So we're going to leave her to that. What am I doing on research right now? It's been a day since I've recorded. I'm working on the skinning upgrade, and then we kind of make my way over to basic farming. Um, do want to try to get... Uh, Make sure my food production is stabilized. Oops, a little too far out. Still getting used to the UI on this game. But we're, let's see, this is our recycler is going over here. And we've got another one just focusing on this plastic pit. The reason I'm doing that is because I actually want to take this road all the way back to these ruins and kind of avoid any of these areas of pollution that we've established. Um, I did also see there was some concrete way back here. I don't want to get my hands on eventually. And I do kind of like the idea of building some of that stuff further back. Because this area, if I'm not mistaken, is some fertile land. Yeah, we got some good soil fertility out here. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm building a lot of farmland out this way. Hence why the path is going to be going out this way. And pretty much once I get to this spot, I'll just like, okay, no more farmland over here. But this is some really good farming land right now. And I do also want to make sure that my logging camp, this guy is actually doing that. I've got three carriers right now, so I'm not going to do much more with that. This... Okay, we can decontaminate the outhouse. That's good. I believe that's what this guy does, the uh, maintenance depot. And this is in the range of it, so I'm assuming it's going to get decon at some point. I know there is a technology to do flushing and actually will let me, you know, reduce the contamination or kind of just let me dump the water dump the wastewater somewhere else all right but right now we're just kind of letting the colony go for a bit um we do have plenty of plastic and wood right now we also have a warehouse that can store a bunch of that stuff we've got plenty of stuff in the stockpiles right now and we've got the skinning research so let's actually go and take a look at that real quick uh using every bit of an animal is both respectful and smart carefully flaying and tanning Animal skin turns into hunt or valuable fibers. So our upgrade for our hunting cabin. I actually don't have a hunting cabin right now. I only have my trapper at the moment. I'm going to go for basic farming right now because it's going to give me that small field. I do have 176 research, so I'll take 125 of that, I think, if I do my math right. And we can uh, go ahead and grab that. Yep, yeah, it's being researched right now. Awesome. It's a little confusing, though, that some of these quote-unquote basic technologies didn't survive this apocalypse so i was like oh well the world's ended i don't know how to plant stuff in the ground and then again i don't really know to what extent i'm actually gonna can i fire this worker there we go i can actually take this worker out of the medical tent because we don't have anybody who's sick right now i want to make sure that i've got that going and just giving more as many carriers as possible to move stuff around between our buildings. Uh, the trapper you can also build another trapper. We only have 151 food. I do want to build a cookhouse at some point. Do I have the cookhouse done yet? Food. No, I don't. I think I was in the research tab when I was going down communal eating. There's the cookhouse. That's what I'm looking for. Cookhouse creates meals prepared from raw firewood and greens requires firewood in order to operate. And probably do like basic farming, soil studies, communal eating. There's so many other ones too. We've got the metal scavenging, We've got the handicraft, that'll be helpful too. We do need fiber for that, but we also need metal scrap. I don't think we have a scrapper though, do we? I don't think I constructed a scrapper yet. I think I would have remembered that one. Let's also see where I have metal scrap around here. Can't, don't want to build on this side. Almost just did a real dumb there by building over here. So, for scrap... How may I help you? Okay, 200 left there. We're doing fine on that. How may I help you? These guys, five hours left. They're pretty much toast. I think Bonnie took a little bit of damage, so she's fine like that. 
And let's see, metal scrap, metal scrap, metal scrap, metal scrap. Wood, plastic, metal concrete. Okay. I'm going to build something out here too. I'm going to build a scout tower way the hell out here. If I build the scout tower this far out, it'll actually let me see into this fog of war. Right, Amelia has been irradiated. Ooh, she's glowing. That's not good. Um, we do have patient slots right now available in the medical tent, so we'll just have her run in there. I do want to try to get my hands on some medicine. Probably iodine pills. We'll treat that. Not sure how immediately you get irradiated, though. That concerns me somewhat. I'm going to move my work area just a little bit further back. More going for me. But once we get this uh, scout tower built up, we'll be able to scout this whole area out. I know we've got some metal scrap over here and some concrete ruins. Yeah, plenty of metal that we can utilize. So once this is built up, which it looks like it's in progress, we can actually get some of that going too. Uh, let's see. This camp is almost done, so we can say bye-bye to this first group. Uh, let's see, buildable, accessible. I don't think there's anything else here, unfortunately. Hopefully there's some materials we can utilize. I also didn't speed up the game to make this go a little bit faster. I probably should do that. Let's actually go in here real quick. Speed up the game a little bit. Go back out here. not retreating from this. Once this is done, though, I'll take uh, Boone. Okay, Boone and Bonnie. I'll take Boone. I'll scout this sector out because I want to see what's down here. Yeah, a lot of, okay, a lot of survivors, a little bit of science. Unknown. We don't know any of these things until it happens. Gotcha. What's up? Seriously, zero hours left. Can we... I guess we have to wait, go back to the city to make that stuff happen. I don't know. That yep, hostile's defeated. There you go. And see you, death. The hey, we got some silver. That's good. The first bandit camp has been taken down. The leader was not found in the camp. It's time to make a move against the second one. Continue the hunt for some coin. All right. Uh -huh. Can do. All right. I'm going to use uh, Booney to do that. It'll take a day to do that. Okay. And she's out of action points, so... We could have her return to the colony to heal up. She's at 91 of 100 hit points, so I'm not too worried about that. Can't do that. It looks like there's nothing there we could have scavenged, unfortunately. But once Booney is done doing this, how long is it going to take him? 12 hours. All right, we're going to go back to the colony for a bit. We won't get it until it's probably about... Those are four hours? Okay. Is she still irradiated? There we go. We built our scrapper. Now, we can go ahead and put the work area way the hell out here. I'll put it kind of over here. We've reached a milestone. Reclaimed knowledge. Hey, we finally figured it out. Amelia now being treated for that stuff. Now we can build small fields. Grows vegetables slowly in large quantities. No construction resources required. Build three. Because actually it would take up all of our carriers, but let's actually uh, pause that. And pause this. I wanted to just lay him out, really. Scout tower is done. So now if we got somebody working in it. Like, didn't. We can actually scout this area out a little bit. My concern is that people are getting too close to this pollution. So I'm actually going to take this dirt road.
now this way, I kind of want them to actually follow the pathing back to this. That way they can avoid this area of pollution because I don't have environmental stations available for a while. All right, select next. Interesting. So we have pollution for the vegetables. I'm actually going to grow flax here, because that'll give us more clothing. We only have 33 clothing, but if I can get better clothing, it'll be, you know, better. All right, back to the world map now. She's got two action points. Mission complete. All right. So looks like she has some iodine pills over there. He scavenges at 100%. Can do. Right, I'm going to get him down that way. So we have the weak thugs over here. We have some science over here, the observatory. Cool, we have a couple of science outposts. That's helpful for me. We've got 50 points left here. So Jin is almost done here. Just 12 damage per, 12 damage per. Okay, I may bring Jin and Bonnie to attack this compound and probably send Bonnie back into the city. Okay, got that going. A colonist found something—a mysterious wagon outside. Something unusual has been found in the forest surrounding the colony. A wagon is parked deep into the woods. Windows covered with tarp. There are footprints around the vehicle, but they can't be tracked. There could be something valuable inside, but open the wagon is not without risk. So we can search the wagon. Don't open the wagon or search wagon, but arm the colonists. We'll take two of our basic tools to do so. I'm thinking about just arming the colonists just to make sure it's... Hey, we found six, so we got a surplus here. The wagon is open to reveal a stash of supplies inside next to two decomposing corpses. The illness must have struck, and, struck them and taken them both. The goods are taken back to the colony for use. We got that. We got 35. We got 33 basic clothing. I guess it still hasn't showed up yet. I do also want to build a guard tower. Because eventually we're going to get raided. Do I have guard towers? Never mind, I don't have guard towers. Right. And once this is fully planted, I actually can take Dawn off of this and make him a carrier again. Because now it's going to grow. And you don't need anybody to monitor this to make it grow. A little concerned about putting uh, the farmhouses that can do... Oh, malnutrition. Let's actually... Yeah, let's work toward the cookhouse. Oh, my God. How long ago did I freaking research farming and not start up anything else? God, what is wrong with me today? Don't answer that. Um, trash evaluation. Okay. Right, community is where I gotta go. El Derpo. We don't have a... Uh, we might have enough science for that, I'm not sure. Ah, we can recruit a scientist now. Or recruit a specialist, excuse me. That was a, those are words. Alright, Jin is done. Oh, there's antibiotics right next to it. That's helpful for me. All right, let's see if we can get a specialist here. All right. That's a scientist. Perfect. So Bishop has decent attack damage. Scavenge ability is abysmal. Um, his health is not the best, but his research pull is great. So I'm actually going to recruit him. Okay, researching communal eating. And now when we find stuff out in the fields like this research outpost, um, let's say 8 every 12 hours. Here is 30, 16 every 12 hours. That's perfect. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have her engage the bandits. Yep. Then I'm gonna probably have Bonnie do the exact same thing. Can't complete order. Once she gets an action point, she'll come down here. She'll help with the engagement. All right, back to the colony itself. All right, we've got the wooden ruins almost done up here. This person is needing a shower. All right, scout tower is doing its scouting. Oh, metal scrap! Oh my god! Look at all that metal scrap I found. I'm I'm good. Like that is a lot of metal scrap available for me. In fact, I'm probably gonna put a second person on it if I had a second person to put on it. Dang it! All right, we're producing food. I'm probably gonna take somebody off of the scrapping, off the recycler, if I'm honest. This one's almost done. This one's got plenty left. I'm gonna take you off of that. I'm gonna put a second person on the scrapper. There we go. Alright. Build a cookhouse. Well, working on a cookhouse is gonna take a little bit of time for me to get done. Food wise, I do have, yeah. I've got 56 berries and I have 80, essentially, fishing. Um, can put a second person on the fishing to get more fish. Of course, with the flax, I'm just growing it to build fiber to make clothing. Um, I'm probably going to find some better spots to put it so I don't pollute the water again. This is why soil fertility, very, very high over here, but that's where I don't want to bring the pollution over there. So I may do, like, potatoes out here, and then once this... Uh, uh oh. Ah, crap. The horizon starts turning blue from blue to toxic green. The air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of impending danger. This is our first disaster. Intense radiation is a constant threat to colonists. Building in crops, withering and dying from a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst will take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops on open fields where they wither. Can't do that because they're still growing. Stockpile iodine pills to treat radiation sickness, build more medical facilities, and sign workers to help those who are needed. All right, let's get into prep days before the catastrophe strikes. One. Wow, you gave me one damn day? Anti-catastrophe buildings. Okay. Wow, radar is something I can get my hands on. But it looks like... Yeah, it just looks like I need medical tents. That's not fun. All right. Let's get another clean water storage, though, built, because it did say that water is going to be a thing for these peoples. Oh, I'll just put it right next to the thing. That's easy. Right. I'll, I'll get Bishop to carry materials over for that. All right. So, unfortunately, this is going to... Really, that was a waste of time, actually. That frustrates me. All right, let's go back after the map view. Right, she still don't have enough points to do. Thankfully, Boone found some houses with iodine pills. It's um, Wow, his scavenging four every 24 hours? That's not good. I may need to have him pull. I may need to pull him from this task once the disaster hits to come back to the colony with the iodine pills. I have six iodine pills. I've got twenty people. Um, yeah, crap. Let me put. Let me move. Let me redirect you in. All right. Negative. Well, you're gonna need to start going that way anyway. Not going to happen. That's all I got right now. All right, so. Yeah, that's the good spot for the work here. We're now getting metal scrap. That's good. What can I build with metal scrap? I actually have no idea. All right, good. Wood ruins are depleted back here, so I can actually take this road back a little bit further. Got to remove that little spot of road I actually put down. Yeah, big thing is just get this further out. So... Plastic, trash, metal. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff around here I can utilize. I think I maybe need to move some of these things back. Can I move buildings yet? I don't think I can. One thing I have not figured out yet, and forgive me for my ignorance on this, is... You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do that. I 
put a scrapper out here. I don't know what this does. This could be like an absolutely stupid thing that I'm doing here. But if it is, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I want to build these three out there and kind of turn off the ones that are further up here. This, again, could be just an absolutely stupid thing I'm doing right now, but it's my mindset is these people have to now go further to get these materials and bring them back. So I should probably, you know, do something about that. Just a thought. Got plenty of berries over here. Okay, now we have communal eating. Great, now we need to actually do it. Well, let's do it then. Oh, perfect. We need scrap. That works for me. Uh, we need, looks like we need five veg and a firewood to make a meal. How, do we have, how many veg do we have? None. Okay. So if I could build it, it's just not going to do me anything for a while. I'll the cookhouse over here. I guess I can do it, but also I don't even have the wood, the metal scrap for it, which is why the scrapper needs to be built out here. Reduce the commute time, really. Hey, more plastic trash, concrete rubble. I mean, this is a good idea to have your stuff back up here at the front, but if I can demo it and put closer things, then it kind of makes more sense. I do thinking that maybe this emergency shelter and get a little bit upgraded. Decreased birth rate in the emergency shelter. Plastic deposit is, whoa. Ho! Oh! A buried deposit of plastic in Bushai Plastic Extractor. The richest of the deposit determines the efficiency extractors can mine for resources. The higher the richest, the better the efficiency. So I can get a plastic extractor at some point to do something with it. Neat. Let's go back to the world map. Okay. Boone has only been able to recover four of those pills. Yeah, she's going to need to come back to the colony after this. Wait, what was over here? Antibiotics. What's up? That's only helpful for pandemics, mind you. Not yeah, you know what? I, I made a mistake bringing her out this way. And also, this kind of makes this the main, uh, the recycler kind of a moot point here. Little friend has been lost. Bring her home. Okay, that looked like they were just like just striding along the map. A small girl approaches with watery eyes and snot running from her nose. I can't find my cat. Please, she must have run away. I can't sleep without her. Um, yeah, I'm totally for searching for a cat. I have a cat. View colonists went out to look for the cat. The girl is beaming with joy, but the rest of the success is uncertain. However, the party returns with a massive white cat, who, judging by the scars in the rescuer's arms, wasn't too keen on the strangers. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers, the girl squeaks and breaks the cat, who immediately begins to purr. Ten happiness, two colonists injured. I'm okay with this trade-off because, I mean, colony happiness is kind of important, um, based on what I've seen so far in the game. So I'm kind of putting it like that. Okay, and you are injured. Sorry about that. All right, no free carriers left. You need to carry resources, build, and repair. So we got a scrapper that's done. I'm actually going to turn this off and demo this building. I don't know how much I'm going to get back from it, mind you. That was easy. Oh, cool. I get 26 plastic and 38 wood. Now, if I go into the scrapper itself, I didn't get all of it back. I did lose some in the process, which is fine. And now we can actually have scrap that's a little bit further. It's a hell of a lot closer than it currently is. The recycler, same thing. Um, this one... Ah, hell. Okay. Crops can only endure so much. Got my harvesting before it's too late. Let's go ahead and 
Grab that, I guess. Looks like we're just doing that. Alright. Moon is injured. Beware of intense radiation and heavy rain. Ugh. We're gonna get this cookhouse done soon ish. Let's get a second person going on that. And this recycler. Alright, we're gonna do that. Hostiles were defeated. But I'm going to actually demo this one. Same thing I did with the ask, uh, just moving things back. We won the battle. All right, another 120 coin. We've entered the camp. Oh, hot damn. Continue the hunt. 220 science. All right, you were actually going to return to the colony. Yes? Not going to work. Well, when you can, get there. Right, and he's got a little bit ways to go on that. All right, stockpile is done. Cool, that's been demoed. And now we can kind of get people working out here too. That was kind of the point of building this whole section out, is to move some resources, move some production further back. Uh, this group will actually stay up here for now because of this. But let's go ahead and look at the pollution. What's this telling me? I don't know what this I don't know what this uh, symbol means. Disabled by disaster. Okay. All right. So it's kind of a good that thing that I got some water going. Is the well disabled? No, he's not. Cool. I can actually do a second well if needed. To do that. Where is this guy? Washing up. Gotcha. All right, we got injuries. Cool. We've got a second one we're able to recover things. That's kind of the important stuff. I think, keyword, I'm doing okay right now. It's really just a matter of speeding the game up a little bit, seeing if uh, this can go a little bit faster. That was interesting. So, like, you know, hey, build a medical build a medical tent. I have a medical tent. I do see an issue with uh, my gameplay right now in that all my living stuff is up here. All my work stuff is up here. The colonists have a big old trek to make to actually get stuff done. And I'm thinking that at some point, yeah, we have a lot of radiation going. We're running out of iodine pills. Back to the world map, please. That's 16. No, he's got... Wait, how many does he have on him? He has eight. It's not nearly enough. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I really like Boone. What's up? But... Yeah, even Bishop would be doing a pro hard, hard pro time scavenging stuff. Damn. Yes? No, Boone, I'm gonna have you work on building this thing. We're waiting for the materials, but we have... We have stuff available. We also only have one runner at the moment. Which, you know, kind of a problem. It can't be... I can't be sick. You're irradiated too. Wow. Full of radiation. Did, okay, she just got... Like, wait a second. You just... I think she just got treated too. Okay. Dropping an auto save. Okay, so it looks like it's a 24-hour day. That's fine. Your orders. I don't want to cancel that mission. Not yet, at least. All right, let's speed things up again. We've almost got this area completely felled, which is fine. I just don't know how long this is going to last. That's one thing that I guess... Oh! That was easy. I don't have my easy button in here, but yeah, okay. Cool beans! Buildings need water. Hey, let's take a look at that. He needs water. Okay. 
God damn it. Okay. Okay. I was going to expand that radius out just a little bit more. Get that guy repaired. Okay, how do I get you water? Not going to use a water network. Hold up. I went to the wrong page. I need pipes for this. Ah, oh, damn you rabbit holes. Okay. The water pipes are right here. Let's go ahead and actually research it, because I have nothing queued up on research. I admit this is one thing that gripes me about this game. And this could be something that's fish fixed in New Alliances. Again, I'm just playing the vanilla game. Is it... so that you have to manually do all the research? Can you do... Oh. It can only be found and produced on the world map. That's easy enough. Um, we also got healer achievement unlocked. I'm assuming that I ha I healed 10 people because it has the number 10 next to the syringe. Um, God, I'm low on iodine pills. But those have antibiotics. That's good. Um, my assumption is you have to manually queue everything up, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Kind of sucks. What do you do? I see metal here, but I don't see what that other thing is. That three. Wooden ruins are depleted. That's fine. I'm not sure what you do. Like, I'm right-clicking on it, and I don't, I don't see a way to see what's going on with it. But we're researching water pipes. We'll get this hooked up. Um, I will put a cut in here, actually. Unfortunately. Dang, this game. It is a, it's a time. It's a time suck in the best way. I'm really enjoying this game, and I, again, I apologize to my audience, because I slept on this game for a very, very long time, and I should have done a hell of a lot better with it. We're replanting this field right now, and I do want to uh, arrange for another field, so let's go ahead. Cancel construction on that, cancel construction on that. And I'm going to put, like, a potato field a little further out, so I can get... And I'm actually going to put it way out there, just because I don't want to have the pollution next to the water well. For now, though, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. I'm loving this game. I really am. Granted, I could end up hating this game tomorrow. Who knows? But thanks, all everybody, for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.